How's it going guys? I'm Jack and welcome to Frostpunk on the Edge. In this video I'm going to show you my starting strategy for the first week and hopefully this can set you up for a really good mid game and a really good late game as well because everyone knows you need to get a good start on Frostpunk otherwise it becomes very difficult. If you do enjoy city building simulation and management games be sure to subscribe. Also hit the like button as it really does help out the channel. I also live stream over on Twitch every Sunday and Monday. The link to my channel is in the description. So let's get started. Now the first thing we really want to do is just gather as many resources as possible, as quickly as possible, and that includes more workers. So we're going to literally head out into the wasteland as quickly as possible and search for new survivors. Uh, we need 40 wood, which we haven't got at the moment. So we're just going to do a little bit of demolition. We're going to delete this road up here. I'm just going to leave a little road like that. And also I'm going to delete this around here. Uh, so yeah, that gives us enough wood to send out a scouting team and we're going to head out to the remnants of a building to begin with so our scouts are on their way absolutely fantastic next thing we need to do is start um, gathering resources so we're going to focus on wood to start with um, so we're going to put three uh, teams on these wood piles and also we're going to put 15 engineers on this steel wreckage so the steel wreckage is going to be depleted first that means the engineers will be freed up quicker and we can use them for well things they're meant to be used for basically so research and the medical post so that's the start bit um, we are going to focus on getting housing set up as quickly as possible as well now so that is 80 wood there that should be enough so we're going to whack down some tents this is why I've left this little bit, bit of road here so we can squeeze uh, the tents in just like that so that's four of them. I'm going to do another little bit of road here and uh, bring that road up as well. Again, it's li just a little trick that um, lets you fit more houses and stuff into a small area if you squash it up using roads and, and uh, things like that. So uh, that should be enough houses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. I say houses. They're tents. I feel bad, so bad for these people. Living in tents in minus 20 degrees. Not good. Not good at all. Uh, so we're going to let those, you know what, we're actually going to take off, yeah, we're going to take a couple of people off the uh, wood pile so they can actually start building them. We don't want um, a lot of people sick over the first night. Uh, we need to now build the transport depot and the um, outpost administration. We're not going to do that just yet. We're going to actually uh, build some other things so uh, let's go for where is it the workshops we're going to do those first again I'm going to do a little bit of road just there and I'll whack these here so I'm going to do two workshops I'm going to pause the building on them for now because I want them I want everyone focused on building the tents and the medical post we'll see if we need any medical uh, stuff at the moment see if we get anyone sick so if the, all these get built before I think it's 10 o'clock so it's 10 o'clock now it's either 10 o'clock or midnight if they get built before a certain time no one will get sick uh, so we'll see uh, so yeah everyone's got a house now which is absolutely fantastic and unpause these and uh, that should be good to go you know uh, so the scouts have reached the remnants of a building. We'll explore that and take the resources and head off to Nansen's Stormwatch. Now that is the first place we're going to find survivors. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, so yeah, let's build a couple more roads. Just link these up like that. Uh, I'm going to leave that road there again because we're going to fit another workshop in at some point. Uh, all of our workers are finished building so I'm going to put them back on the wood piles for now. Um, I really want these wood piles and uh, resource deposits to be uh, empty by the time the temperature drops because if they're on if they're working on a uh, deposit with a lower temperature than 20 degrees then they're very likely to get sick uh, so right we've got three sick people overnight which is not too bad you know not too bad I'm happy with that uh, so we'll get a medical post built just there and we will start with the uh, transport depot and will we have enough for the administration building no 25 wood we need four more wood 
There we go. We'll whack that down there. That's that's literally really the only place it can go. Uh, so that's all set up, and it's only oh, it's day two. We're doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Uh, so still wreckage has been depleted now. This means we've got access to the army warehouse. So we're going to build a road up to that, and uh, that means our engineers are free as well. So we're going to stick a couple people on here. And we're going to start with the sawmill once we've got enough wood. Uh, we need 10 wood for that. So let's, uh, yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Um, I'm actually going to do, well, we need um, that built. Yeah, it's not too bad at the moment. It's not too bad at the moment. Only three people. They're not getting gravely ill like at the moment. So it's all good. Is that road connected up? I think it just hasn't been built. I think that's fine. So yeah, we've um, we're gonna uh, after sil. Well, this is literally what I was gonna say after the sawmill is researched. We're gonna actually open up drawing boards. Uh, I'm gonna start on more scouts. That's what we're gonna do because scouting out the. Uh, the map is very important in this uh, in this scenario so here we go they've reached Nansen's storm watch I'm gonna take the survivors back you can send the survivors to the outpost but some die on the way um, and I don't like that you need as men like as much manpower as possible so administration has been built uh, has been built sorry and so has the medical post so we'll stick engineers in there yeah we'll, we'll try and keep on top of the um, the sick people so that's the first objective done uh, now we can talk to New London um, they're gonna send us children which are not meant to come but that's part of the story if you want to play the story I recommend highlight I highly recommend like just playing it like like normal it's it's uh, it's really good I love this game so much um, so in this screen um, if you click we have some problems you can ask for more like resource and stuff also if things, if you have certain things happen, so like high discontent or something like that, you can actually go onto this screen and ask them to pass laws, uh, because at the moment we cannot actually pass any laws. Uh, that's just saying the children are coming. So yeah, we can't actually pass any laws at the moment. What we really need is the emergency shift and extended shift. Uh, that's what we need. Um, so we're gonna do a little thing, which is a little. Well, I don't know if it's cheeky or not. I don't think it is. I think it's just playing the game, but. We're going to whack some people in here, but we're going to not send the first shipment to them. And that means they should sign both of those laws pretty quickly. Uh, because they're like, oh, why haven't you sent us anything? And it's like, get the work. You can work now. You can now work for 24 hours. It's like, okay, good. <laughs> so that's that. Um, how many wood are on this? Six and four. I think this one up here is depleted. I think it is, yeah. So we're going to we're gonna let them work on there for a little bit longer just to deplete those resource piles and we're going to get a sawmill up and running so I'm going to whack that here now we don't want like if you place it in the middle um, resources will be destroyed and there's not enough there's not enough resources on this map to go to be like destroying trees and stuff so you want to cover up as much possible without um, destroying resources and just when it's depleted just move it basically so we get that built and once these wood piles are depleted we're gonna get those onto the sawmill uh, so that's been built fantastic and um, we're also gonna max this out as well uh, so that's gonna be decent uh, what have we got now so we are researching the drawing boards aren't we yeah also we've got five hours until we've got more people arriving so we'll get some housing built for those so we'll do three like that um, how many people are we gonna get we're gonna get like 31 41 51 56 15 are gonna be kids 10 are gonna be administrative clerks I think they live in the administrative building I'm not too sure about that though so I'm actually just gonna build some more housing anyway uh, when we well when we have wood basically coming in 
So here we go. It's getting a little bit colder. Like I said, if people work on here while it's cold, they have a like a higher chance of getting sick. However, I'm going to risk it just to get rid of them because I'm not going to lie. It's a bit annoying having like a pile of wood with one <laughs> with one wood on it. Uh, right, so that's done, and this one is like the same. Okay, right, so that's done as well. So we'll whack those on there. We've got 15 spare people. Now, we need to start thinking about food uh, right now. So I'm going to actually put that there. Uh, you can you can get away with not feeding people for like three days, which is a long time. It's a long time, definitely, but you can get away with it. Uh, so yeah, the children have arrived. Um, we'll do our best with them. They are they are very hungry and malnourished. <laughs> So we got we got to save them, right? And our first lot of survivors have arrived as well with a few resources, which are absolutely amazing. Uh, we need twenty one more housing, uh, twenty one more beds, sorry. So I'm actually going to do a road just in the middle there of the the three and three, and work down three houses like that. That should uh, be fine. Now these guys, we're actually going to send out to... Uh, we're going to send them to the Frozen Den. And this is going to be our second lot of survivors as well. Our research is still ongoing, which is fine. Did I do a path? I don't think I had enough wood, did I? There we go. So what's going on over here? Uh, so all right, these guys have now found a steam core. Uh, a trove of steam cores, in fact, and we have to start sending those back to uh, New London as well. Uh, but like I said, we're going to hold out on that for a little while, and they're going to get a little bit angry with us. But it's fine. It's fine. We'll uh, send them some stuff at some point. So yeah, here we go. The uh, cache of steam cores, basically they say we need to um, uh, send those over as well. Now, we can actually ask for more people now, more real food and stuff. Uh, we're going to not worry about that. Um, I would only use those if you're 100% desperate, uh, but, well, hopefully we're not desperate. So here we go. The emergency shift has now been, um, has now been passed, which is good. So that's been signed. We're not going to use it. Again, extended shift, I feel like only using emergency because people, people die on emergency shifts all the time. Um, Right, let's add a new research. We're going to go to more scouts, get those underway. And put some people in here. Now, you don't actually need to fill this up to maximum. Um, it's going to make 40 an hour, like, which is more than enough for uh, the 121 people. So we could only put, like, we could actually put two on. And that would be sufficient to sustain the whole colony at the moment. Uh, the whole outpost. Uh, but for now, we're actually going to start clearing some other stuff because we've got a lot of people. Uh, so we're going to start down here. We're going to clear out this as well uh, with a gathering post. Now that position I've put it in there is literally perfect for covering every single one of these. The reason I didn't do this in the first place, these have pitiful amounts of resources. Only 25 wood in each of those and that still is like uh, 15, which is not good. We're also going to do... Um, our resources when we get some more wood. <laughs> uh, how many? We need 40 wood. Oh no, hang on. Gathering post 15 wood. That's it, isn't it? We're going to do that there, covering the wood and the coal, and then that's going to be it for now. We'll, we'll put another one over here as well. But for now, it's absolutely fine. Again, I've, I've been running out of wood a lot, so... Um, I haven't been able to build paths and stuff, which is not good. Not good. Uh, so here we go. People are getting hungry now, but we it should be fine. It should be fine. I say that. <laughs> um, we're getting a little bit um, close to the mark with sick people, so I'm actually going to build another medical post once we get the resources coming in. So we'll just continue speeding that up. There we go. So they've reached the frozen den. There's nothing there, unfortunately. I'm going to send them the crumbling hut. This is our second lot of survivors, which are there. Absolutely amazing. 
still yeah here we go so we've got some more resources coming in now very good whack that round like that put that like that get those people working um our research is going good as well we're actually going to build another uh, workshop when we can like that stick that right in there uh, so more scouts have been researched we're now going to do uh, we're not going to worry about heating for the first week we don't really need it we're not going to worry about any more of that uh, lighter scout sleds maybe uh, but for, for now more scouts is just good enough but resources we could do coal thumper um, we're not going to worry about any faster gathering or anything anything like down here not really worth it so we're going to do we could do medical post upgrade or the hand carts I'm going to do hand carts because this makes the army warehouse more efficient which is always nice because uh, the steel and steam cores you get for it you can trade in the later game which, uh, with other settlements and stuff which is really good uh, so yeah let's get that started we've got enough wood now and uh, yeah, it's going it's going pretty well. We're on day four, coming up to day five. Uh, let's get some people in here. Some people in here. Oh, we need to send out the scouts as well. People in there and the scouts. Once we get again, once we get enough wood. Again, this is all about setting stuff up. Uh, we're going to send these scouts up to the windy beach. However, we're going to send them to Nansen's watch first. Always send uh, scouts to somewhere you've already been and then to a, a new place. Pro tip there. It takes a, takes a shorter time, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, people should be uh, getting food now. We've got 85 food rations and 42 people to feed. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to do another medical post as well, aren't we? Once we do that, hand carts have been researched. We, need, we do need five wood. So I'm going to see if I can delete any paths. So that's one wood there. That's still it's good enough. We can... Uh, yeah, it's good enough for the beacon to be up and operational, which is good. Um, how much wood has this got left? 179. Uh, we're going to do... We're going to get rid of that. Oh, this actually hasn't got a path connected to it. And we can get rid of this one as well. That's one wood there. I'm going to get rid of this one and I'm going to get rid of this one as well uh, not get rid of it, build it there to save some wood um, now we've got 150 steel there I'm actually going to move this over to steam cores uh, that's because uh, then they'll start collecting steam cores and we need to send two of them uh, it's absolutely fine it's all going good at the moment I'm saying this, I hope it is <laughs> I'm hoping this is helping you guys uh, we're going to connect that little bit of road up there and start building our medical, well, medical post. I've just used, I've just used wood for something else. All right, here we go. Maybe it was better to wait for this. I'll open a new medical post because I was going to do it. That will lower discontent and stuff. So that's fine anyway. Uh, yeah, let's wait for the next day. How many, how much wood is left on there? Yeah, so there are people in that one, all right? Yeah, I was, I was wondering, have I actually put people in there? They're not really gathering enough stuff over there. But it's, I think I think it's um, just because we've been pausing it a lot, right? Uh, right, the crumbling hut. So more survivors are here. Explore. I'm going to escort those to our outpost again. And I'm going to uh, bring them home. Bring them home, guys. So temperature is going to go up now. This means we can actually start putting people back on the coal piles and stuff without gathering posts. So there we go. So we're just going to use all available people we can just to gather a little bit quicker. Those engineers we are going to take off literally straight away though. Just get the medical posts and we'll put that in the little gap there. Uh, let's see what else we're going to research. Um, mixed crews I don't think is very necessary it just lets you do steel and steam cores at the same time uh, however the efficiency on those is awful um, we could do coal thumper prepare for yeah you know what we're going to do coal thumper do coal thumper next and that's going to set us up for when we need coal uh, which is not 
which is quite a while away. It's still like a good four days. Uh, so yeah, let's do Cold Thumper. Uh, these guys have reached Nansen's Stormwatch. We're going to send them to Windy Beach. Uh, people are getting gravely ill now. So this is a... It's not good, but it is good because... <laughs> This is going to allow us to, um, well, is it this? Uh, no, here we go. This is the other thing. So we haven't actually sent a, a um, we haven't sent a shipment yet. So we're going to, they're going to introduce extended shifts. So that's good. Understood. Understood. So we like that. We like that a lot. So everything, literally everything's getting extended shift. It raises discontent a little. However, for what you get for it is um, it, it's like nothing and you can just um, you can literally just take extended shift off and uh, it will go back to like the same discontent it was before so that's fantastic we'll put extended shift on that one uh, extended shift on that I think that's everything with an extended shift yep all good here everyone go to work guys everyone go to work uh, Coal, Th Coal Thumper has been researched. We're next going to do the drafting, the drafting machines. Start unlocking the higher tier stuff. Uh, I say that. We're going to unlock the faster scout sleds. I can't wait for this, um, uh, this medical post to be ready. So we've got the first shipment ready. So we're going to send that off as quickly as possible. Send that to them. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to get people on there and we're going to build some more houses as well. So tents, let's get some down. Uh, we'll get one over there and then one, two. Yeah, we only need two, don't we? Follow that around there. Uh, wait in. These are at the outpost, so we're going to send them straight back out. It doesn't really matter which one you go to. They, they give you some resources, not a lot. But it's worth it to literally unlock them just so they're a faster point to get to further points uh, in the future. So that's that. It's absolutely fantastic. What have we got now? Um, Simples. Uh, yeah, basically they're going to send us food every um, every every day. Understood, lads. Um, and now that is something. I'm not going to read it. <laughs> And yeah, it's um, like I said, it's going pretty decent at the moment. Drafting machines have been researched, and we're going to do lighter scout sleds, and that's literally going to be it for the page, for that page. In fact, uh, engineers, we've got there. They should be good. We've still got four gravely ill. Now, this is where the communication comes in. I'm going to see if we can actually pass a law. Yeah, we need to tend to gravely ill. So. Um, they're going to pass, hopefully, radical treatment. I haven't seen them pass anything other than radical treatment yet. Yeah, here we go. Radical treatment um, means they can now be uh, treated in the normal work post of the Grave Leal, which is fantastic. Um, we've got discontent as well higher. Again, I'm just going to see if we can do... Yeah, here we go. So we need to grow... Uh, address a growing discontent so we'll do that and this should pass the fighting arena uh, so unpause that public house more, more constructive leisure time um, oh they've passed public house instead of um, fighting arena which is fine they both do the same thing so we might as well build a public house now we've got it right um, so I'll whack that let's have a think I'll put that I'll put that there. I've never seen him pass the public house before. It's normally fight an arena. Uh, but it's absolutely, absolutely fine. So we're coming up to day six. We'll put some workers in there. Um, that's good. We've got people on the coal pile, haven't we? Yeah, we'll keep them working. And we'll put more people on there. Um, engineers, I'm maybe going to start a new medical post up as well. I'll put that, put that there. Again, we just need to keep on top of the Grave Leal situation. Uh, these guys have reached Windy Beach. There's nothing here, but we do get to Tesla City. 
So we're going to go Tesla C. Now, this one, um, you can die at, basically. So what I would recommend is saving the game and then reloading it if you die on at, at that uh, place. However, I'm not going to actually explore it because I don't think the resources are worth it for... Well, they like all the resources are worth it, but for what you, it gives you, I'm not going to do it for this video, basically. It's basically just some wood still and food rations. That's literally it. No steam cores or anything. So that's uh, day six is coming up. Uh, still ruins have been depleted over here. That's all good. Uh, scouts have reached a collapsed building. We'll explore that. Take the resources and we'll move on to the next one. Stone wall. Uh, we've run out of food, which is fine because they're going to send us some more food rations soon. Uh, loads of stuff's been uh, depleted over here, which is good. Lighter scout sleds have been researched as well. Uh, so yeah, that's that page done really. We don't need anything else here. You can do factory if you're desperate for workers and you've got loads of pros uh, amputees, but not worth it in my opinion. Braziers and heaters, we again, we don't need to do just yet. Uh, resources, we could do freight elevators. In fact, I may do that. Uh, or medical post upgrade. Let's do medical post upgrade and then we'll do the other one as well. Uh, the freight elevators. Now, what's this? We get lost, uh, got less food. So New London are sending less food because something's going on over there. Um, sorry to inform you due to circumstances beyond the control. Food supply will be reduced. That's fine. Uh, understood. Understood, lads. <laughs> That's absolutely, absolutely fine. So now we're focused. Well, we've got two steam cores as well. We're going to change over the steel. Um, again, I always forget about this. You need to change between each one. Uh, so yeah, scouts have reached Tesla City. We're going to explore it, but I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to... I don't think it's worth it. And we go to Mirror Lake. And that's... Uh, and then there's one thing after that that we're going to go to. Medical research... Uh, medical post research has been upgraded. Fantastic. And then we're going to do the freight elevators. Again, making things more efficient. Now, over here, our sawmill has uh, run out of wood, so we're going to dismantle that and move it over here. Uh, resources, sawmill. Again, try not to try not to destroy any resources or any trees. Write that down there. Now we've got more people, so I'm going to put a few more people in there. Coal is filling up, so I may put a resource depot down. I'm going to start building them. Uh, I'll start building them here. It doesn't really matter. This place, this bit over here is kind of useless at the moment. We don't really need to expand that much. Um, urgent help for tr uh, blah, blah, blah. people gathered to protest. Number of unsick treated people, untreated sick people keeps rising. I'll open medical posts. Let's do a new one. I mean, 22 is not that, not that bad, guys. I've seen worse. <laughs> Trust me, I've seen worse. Uh, so we'll open a new medical post. We can, as soon as we get on top of it, we can delete them and stuff. So that's fine. So these guys have reached the stone wall. We'll take those resources. Quite a lot of resources there. Right, so that's as far as we can go that way. So we'll bring them back to the outpost. Um... Oh, I should say as well, this sh Shattered Dreadnought, um, you don't really get anything out. Uh, anything from there, so we're going to go to there later. Uh, it's more important to get the survivors back. So Medical Post has been opened. Well, it should be in a second once engineers get over there. The... Uh, yep, there we go. That's healthcare fulfilled. Sawmill, we'll put people back on that one and we'll change this onto coal. Uh, that's the resource depot. And that, I think, is that set up for now. Uh, these guys have reached the Mirror Lake. Again, nothing to do here. And Victims Colony is the last place we're going to do in this video. Um, what are we researching as well? We're researching freight elevators, which is fine. 
And we uh, should be good for another shipment as well. Right, so we need to get people off this pile here. Because it's got a little bit colder. And see, here we go. The uh, temperature will drop a little bit in like three days. Which is not like... Which is quite a long time to be totally honest. Uh, scouts have returned safely to the city with loads of stuff. That has brought our steel uh, up so we can do another shipment. Uh, so we'll send that off. And they should give us some food for that. Yep, that's coming from New London. Fantastic. Freight elevators have been researched. Uh, a lot of things happen at the moment. So we'll stick on... Well, we're going to do... I don't know which one to do next. I'm thinking maybe infirmary. And maybe the healthcare installation and stuff now. Uh, just because it is going to get a little bit colder in the next few days. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do... I'm going to do infirmary. I'm going to do infirmary and that's going to help us with the sick situation these guys have come back so we'll send them out to the frozen uh forgotten fishery and uh the gathering post has now been depleted so we'll delete that get some of the wood back as well and we're gonna have a lot of yeah we've got a lot of idle workers now so uh there's not a lot else they can do i mean we could set up another sawmill we may need another resource depot for uh, wood. And you know what we could actually do? Start collecting that coal. Uh, oh, that's depleted as well. So we'll get rid of that. And we'll whack them the gathering post over here. It's fine. Uh, yeah, looking good, looking good. Now, how many engineers have we got? We haven't got engineers. I haven't got any engineers idle. Uh, these, are, these have reached the victim colony. Explore. Um, the survivors there. So we'll escort them to the thing. We get 27, 27 more uh, workers, which is absolutely fantastic. So we'll get a couple more houses down. Start like that. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, so that's basically me my starting strategy. Oh, we'll change that to wood. <laughs> yeah, that's basically my starting strategy. Um, hopefully this guy has helped you out. Um, it's basically you're going to have so many workers and stuff. So you, you'll be able to like do a lot more things and hopefully get some more resources and stuff going. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, remember to hit the like button. Um, any questions, suggestions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. If you do enjoy city building, simulation and management games, be sure to subscribe. And also I live stream over on Twitch every Sunday and Monday. The link to my channel is in the description. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. And as always, stay safe, have fun. And I'll see you on the next one.